Good morning. Um, actually, it's quarter to one. Good afternoon, <laughs> everyone. Welcome to today's video. Um, so in today's video, as you would have seen by the title, I am going to be jumping Diane. I haven't jumped her for like two weeks, but I mean, it doesn't harm her to have any time off jumping. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set up a little exercise. I'm not too sure what exercise I'm going to do. I've saved a few that I've seen on seen other people do on Instagram. So I'm going to have a look on my Instagram in a moment when I finish filming this intro and find some little exercises to do with her. We have got a competition on Sunday, I believe. Um, so yeah, we need to jump at least a 125 upright because we're going to do this like fun class. Well, it's not really a fun class. It's a traditional class that the show venue does each year and it's like a gate jumping class. So there's loads of, it's not like a five bar steel gate, don't worry. There's loads of like wooden poles that have been made into look like a gate and you have to jump 12 fences and one to six are um, a metre five. And then the next four go a metre 10, a metre 15, a metre 20, a metre 25. And for each one of those four jumps that you jump clear, you um, get like knock off two, four, six and 10 seconds from the time that you got in the first phase which was one to six anyway if you got that and you understood it well done because i'm not the best at explaining it um so yeah we need to jump at least 125 upright um and yeah hopefully she's a good girl she might be feeling a bit fresh i did clip her yesterday and i rode her and she was a little bit fresh i'm not gonna lie but i kind of like it when they're a bit sharper when jumping because it just means that i don't know she tends to jump better when she's a bit sharper <coughs> um <coughs> yeah so I've just finished my Domino's pizza. Uh, yeah, don't come at me. I do not eat the crusts on pizzas or toast or anything. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to find this exercise and then I'm going to go outside and I'm going to go get her. It's such nice weather today. Like I was sweltering mucking out in this hoodie. I think I might be able to, I might be able to put a jumper on. I mean, jump out top. Can't speak. Anyway, yeah, see you in the next few clips. <laughs> Also, sorry, I know this intro is very, very long, but please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what video suggestions we should do um, and head over, to my, head over to my Instagram, which is going to be here. Um, and yeah, go like, go follow, everything like that. Um, so yeah. exercise I've set up uh, it's difficult to see from here but the red to the black and orange is a bounce and it's one stride to the navy and blue fence over there and then coming down you can see the black pole that's just there which is one stride into the black and orange jump and then it's a one stride um, to this oxide but it's got a pole in the middle so yeah um, the girls have been running around the field whilst I've been setting it all up haven't you naughty little children so I'm just gonna go let my dad know that i'm about to get diane in ah oh, shush silly plane um i'm just gonna let my dad know that i'm about to get cd in there she is coming over now um and yeah i'm gonna get her in and i'll time lapse it all and blah 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 of me um taking her up and stuff you're not all coming in Look at them heading towards the gate because I'm standing there talking. No, Dodo. Dodo's been drinking puddles, haven't you? Hello. Yeah, I want you, but not now. Uh, what is this filth? What is this filth, child? Oh, I missed a bit on her face, if you can see. Well, you can't really see, actually. It's not that, it's not too dramatic. But I did miss a bit, didn't I? Right, let me go tell Dad. <laughs> I've got every horse. Apart from the one I need. Come on. Diane. Get your ass over here. No, don't just stare at me. Come on. Let me go get some paint.
now on Diane. You could go. Here's the exercises from a different kind of angle now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna warm her up and then dad will be over to take some videos of us jumping. So I had a lot of requests to keep the videos raw. So I think, ah, Diane, don't do that. Oh dear, Bubba. Um, so I'm gonna keep them raw. Um, I'll just put like a sound track over it just so it's not boring, you know. But I might leave the sound on. Depends how it, depends how it listens. Jarvis, why are you eating brambles, you weirdo? All the horses want to come in, so pretty much as soon as I finish riding Diane, I'll bring all the horses in because they don't want to be out. Even though it's actually quite a nice day, it's not even cold. But yeah. I don't know where I am, I don't know where you take me, I don't know where you take me. I just follow your trail and I'm losing your mind and I'm losing your head. Let me escape from this on love because I'm a prisoner. I just want to live my Obviously, I've finished riding Diane now. Um, she was amazing. She was so, so good. I mean, bearing in mind she hasn't jumped for two weeks, like, for her to come out of a stable, well, out of the field and do that, that's pretty good. Um, really happy with her, feeling very confident for Sunday now. Sorry, I'm just topping up the hay seam around watching it so I don't uh, overflow it. Um, I've brought all the horses in now because they're all standing by the gate looking miserable, so they're all tucking into their hay. They get through so much hay because they just eat and eat and eat until every single thing is gone. Um, I'm now steaming Diane's hay for this evening. Ah! And we've just had a food delivery for the horses. Um, so I need to stock up the uh, bins with our food. So I will time lapse me doing that or something because that's quite satisfying. Um, so yeah, that is today's vlog kind of, well, all the exciting bits kind of over and done with. But I mean, feel free to stick around to the end to see some satisfying time lapses. Look at him. Hello, little happy boy. And this is what I mean by a food delivery. So we've got two bags of digest conditioning cubes, two bags of lean and light balancer, a massive bag of bran because they have bran every single Sunday. We just got we just get these um plain like cool cube things to, for Logan and Leah because they don't need any special things because they're not much in much work at the moment. Um fish flakes. <laughs> no, that's cat food. Puppy food, Bruno's food. Mum got some carrots, the little legend, so this carrot right here is Diane's. Um, and then we got two bags, two, I mean, four bags of chaff. Two bags are the Alpha Alpha Pro Fiber and two bags of the Happy Hoof. Of course, everything is from Sibylla's Horse Feeds, besides all the 
pet food and stuff. Oh, oh wait, no, it's all right. We've, we've that's already been in here. Um, so yeah, now we'll just watch me kind of time lapse it and put it all in the bins. That happy hoof bin completed. It's a bit, it's a bit full, but when I do the horses' food, then it'll be better. We still actually have one bag um, left. I'm not going to put it in the zero point thing. And then that's the Alpha Alpha Pro Fiber. Two bags managed to go in there. We were running quite low. These are the unbranded like pony cube things. We feed the horses those as a little treat as well. Um, so yeah, and then. These are the lean and lie. I can't put the other bag in, although the other bag would go in because the bin actually has a crack. And for any comments, don't worry, we don't have mice because Tigger kills them all. Uh, this is the slow release energy cubes. <laughs> My mum put these in because you can never tell um, the slow release energy cubes and the conditioning cubes apart. Quite easy. Oh. So these are the conditioning cubes and they're like brown in colour. Whereas the slow release, ooh, we get some are like basically look like penny Um So yeah, but she always gets them mixed up. So she has she puts this in the bin so that she doesn't forget. Um, ooh, shut. Because of that. So yeah, we've got another bag of lean light balance left. All those need to go in the bin. Oh, I need to do the wheat. I need the wheat, the brown. I need to do the brown. I need to fill the brown bin up. So, yeah. And there you go. Brown bin is all filled up. So that can go oh, back in there. Um, And yeah, we're going to do the horses' foods now. So, I'll show you after I've done the foods. Right. I'm not giving everyone a camera. So, the two smallest. We'll go to these two. Oh, you can't even see Wilma. There you go, Wilma. There you go, Betty. Right. And then... Hello? You want a carrot? There you go. And then Pony. You get a carrot. And then, yeah, Diane. Guess which one's for Diane. <laughs> Didi gets a carrot. Yeah, Didi want a big carrot. I can't even open your mouth for it. Oh my god. Right, come on, back. Go back and I'll put it in your hay. Oh, of course you've done that. Right, find it. Oh my god, I forgot. I've forgotten one person. I've forgotten little Blazy. Quick, hang on. Hang on, Blaze. I don't know why I thought I only had seven horses. Oh, hang on, Blazy. Does anybody else feel like they ever feel kind of bad if they forget a horse? It's like they're just waiting there thinking, and when you disappear going to get them out, they just think that you're basically leaving them and you've forgotten about them. Don't worry. Chicken nugget. You get a big one because I feel bad. I smile. <laughs> Good boy. You've had one, Mrs. And that is the end of today's video. Thank you for um, watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and comment your video suggestions down below. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.